Thoughts or opinions on the video another tuner posted last week claiming that the OEM tune on the B9 3.0 B6 has faulty ignition timing correction too. So uh, we released the statements uh, middle of last week. Yeah, we were getting a lot of inquiries through our support channels. Yeah, our, our current 0 through 4 tuning customers were asking, is this a problem in your tune too? Because um, our competitor, Integrated Engineering, <coughs> came out with basically a statement saying that there there have been a lot of engine failures on IE tuning. There's a lot of threads. Uh, I was looking at there's there's threads on Audi World on MBZ, a lot of Facebook groups are, and there's been a lot of fit engine failures on IE tuning. So essentially, IE is admitting that there there have been an, a high number of engine failures on their tuning. But their response was to come out basically saying that it was Audi's fault and that there is code uh, in the factory Audi file that was causing pistons to fail. And the, yeah, and the, and the, the calibration of the timing maps specifically is what I yes. gathered they were getting at. So if you go on their Instagram, uh, there's this, this is probably the first and only time I would ever send any <laughs> anyone uh, to in <laughs> IE's Instagram, but feel free to, you can see, j just to, you know, in full disclosure, they can represent them. We're not here to represent IE, but they can represent themselves, and that's through their Instagram. So if you'd like to see the other side of it, that, that's where it is. But this is, I'll just read the statement we released, and um, and then we can discuss it. But basically, this is what we sent. We're, we're sending to our customers. Thank you for reaching out for clarification on IE's recent post video. IE is claiming that low RPM partial throttle ignition timing corrections are resulting in the engine failures that have been happening sporadically on B9 3.0Ts of various stages, and that this is from a timing map found in the base Audi calibration that they used in their tuned files. Their claim continues by stating they have solved this issue by reducing timing and part load uh, part throttle conditions. 034 Motorsport calibrators, along with several other unaffiliated, reputable calibrators, and, and now pretty much <laughs> majority of people the, out there. People that are if, have, if have you know, to calibration. It, the tide has really turned um, in the last you know few days. Um, but uh, 034 calibrators and other reputable calibrators have found that the ignition correction IE posted about and shared data logs of is entirely normal operation of the factory knock sensing system mm -hmm. and how use OE, OE original equipment ECUs and is not actually problematic. What was filmed and shown by IE is standard OE ignition control that is found across all factory German vehicle tuning as well as performance calibrations and would not result in any damage to the engine internals or hardware. We are not sure why IE is posting this normal part load timing control and stating it is a problem, you will need to ask them to be, uh, to more clearly explain why they feel this is, this normal knock control system is problematic. To, re to re reiterate, what they have shared is normal ECU knock control behavior, not an issue, nor would it cause damage to engine internals as such, i.e. making changes to their files based on the information they presented would not have any impact on 034 Motorsport calibrations, and this is nothing that should concern 034 Motorsport customers. Yeah, there's, there's, there was, that's, it was such a bizarre video. There was so little information to, to base such a sweeping claim on, was the biggest yeah. thing that caught me. It was like, if you want to make that claim, you need to then have like individual cylinder pressures monitored and, and show what the before and after effects uh, of the changes that were made were and why the, you know, the factory models and the factory systems were getting into a dangerous situation uh, with cylinder pressures that would cause whatever, you know, the, the, the fault that they've never clearly stated um, they were fixing was. Uh, so, I mean, to, to be clear, you better believe that if what I was saying was true, we would be running, you know, to make changes to if it was a problem in our files. We would be releasing updates right now mm -hmm. if, if there was anything to it. So, our, you know... When Nate and I saw this, our first reaction was like, this, this doesn't make any sense. That there's, there's a big problem with, there, there's a couple of big problems, but there's a very big problem. If you read anything that IE has posted, uh, they talk about the failure, which is uh, a, a 
damaged or broken piston. And they talk about ignition timing values that are too retarded, you know, that don't have enough advance. And then they don't discuss a mode of failure at all. So they never say you're saying there was the two retarded that the 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 not correction system was pulling too much right. advance. Yeah. That that's their that's their statement is that the factory Audi ignition timing is pulling too much timing under part low conditions. What I just said in our position is it's not. That's normal uh, ignition system behavior for the factory ECU. But they don't they they mention something about knock, but they don't say like what the mode of failure is. So. Is it the result of ignition timing that's causing EGTs that are too high, that's causing the piston to melt? Uh, is there pre-detonation that's, that's creating uh, extreme combustion pressures that's damaging? They, they, don't, they don't talk about the mode of failure. So they've actually been asked about this several times. And they say that the mode of failure is the failed piston. So they don't even know what mode of failure means. Uh, you know, the failure is the piston. Mode of failure is what is the thing that's causing it to fail? Um, and you know, uh, the ignition timing alone can't damage the piston. So what is happening to do that? So they're very vague about it. And, um, you know, I, I think, uh, I'm not sure how, how this will go well for them. It's going very poorly. Um, I, I, I hope, you know, I, I mean, it would suck to be an IE customer right now and to be caught up in all this. Um, but it, it, you know, from, from one tuning company to another, I mean, if we ever did this, we, we would have damn uh, discrete, clear scientific proof that this was the case. Because otherwise, what it comes across is, is you're just you're just trying to avoid blame. It was yeah, it was so little like, oh, you blew up your motor, but claim. it's Audi's fault, you know, which is, you know, and, and there are there are there is something going on here um there, there are reports of factory engines failing um uh, tuned engines have failed we have very few documented cases of engine failures on our tuning um i mean it's it's essentially noise um and you know not to the people that no it's not it sucks for those that it's but, but as far as like if you if you do the you know statistically it's it's a very small and insignificant number of failures uh, you know at a high level um, so, you know, I, I think we don't claim to have all the answers. Uh, we can confidently say that what IE is saying is wrong and there's, there's no basis to it. Yeah. With the, the amount of information provided. It's, and they've been able to provide evidence. in one week now, no new information to support their claim. They're floundering. It's, it's, it's pretty hard to watch. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I think that this is a relatively new platform. We're all. Uh, trailblazing, you know, uh, across uh, an area of performance tuning that nobody has ever done before. So we don't have all the answers. We we have made some changes to our files to improve uh, the, the envelope of safety. Yep. Um, but I think I, you know. I think there will be more information that comes out. It it won't be that Audi's. Audi's uh, base calibrations are the full. I can guarantee you, if we find something like that, there'll be a whole lot more information provided with before, after, its reasonings, logics. I mean, we would, we would like, prove it. It, yeah. it would be, you know, and we would isolate variables to make sure that that is actually the thing that's causing it. But, um, you know, it's, it's not like there, there's like, there are instances of OEM engine failures, but, you know, I think you could look at any car and Again, we don't know what the numbers are, but you could look at any car, and yes, a certain number of cars are going to have engine failures. But there's not some huge, dramatic number of factory Audis that are that are having engine failures. It's just not happening. So, but yes, you could, you know, out of hundred plus thousand cars, you can point around and find ten examples. You know, but that's still like a really, really small number. So, if you have any follow questions, are there any follow ups or anything? Mm -hmm. Uh, let, let us know. Hey, yeah, we're not here to badmouth IE or kick them when they're down. You know, no, this this so. became a thing we had to address because we, we were having customers it. that were contacting us because the way it was stated was so, like, just That's like it. it was facts. Like it was, like it was, you know, they figured it out. Here's the fix. Um, and for, you know, for 
99% of the people out there with these calibrations on their cars, they don't know the technical or have the technical vocabulary even to um, question what's being said. So, yeah. um, you know, we just, we, we just have to try and like educate and, and as much as we can and try and parse what they're getting at in this case, because there was so little information. Provided. It was interesting because the, the first day or so it was universal, like, wow, I can't believe this. It's crazy that Audi messed up. Like, you know, <laughs> and we were just like, uh, that's, you know, and sure enough, the you can go log. I, I, I any car I've logged in, I don't know, the past fifteen years has looked similar. Like, yeah, the, totally. The yeah. BMW, Audi, Volkswagen, normally aspirated, yeah, uh, turbocharged, supercharged. They've all got you know similar behaviors, and um, will certainly be exacerbated if you're in a hot climate, a ninety-one octane climbing a hill with a low gear. Like that's it's all normal stuff. Yep. And there was a pretty heinous clump. <laughs> that was the only That's a little, a little spicy. Um, well, whoever made that comment, we, we, we agree. Um, someone says, thanks for clearing that up with IE. I have a stock S4 and was wondering what was going yeah. on. Yeah, I don't, you know. Yeah, no, nothing's going on. No, not, not like that. 